information and activities provided in this video are for guidance purposes only and therefore do not encourage the viewer to practice every skill you see in the video. This is due to not having adequate safety equipment and qualified supervision. This could invalidate your British Gymnastics or National Gymnastics insurance. I am not responsible for any slips, trips or falls, damage of household items or injury to oneself or others. However, if you would like some advice on the following above, like what exercises you can do as an alternative to acrobatic skills, cardiovascular warm-up, which is highly recommended, please let me know in the comments, I'd be happy to help. Make sure your space is clear so it is safe for you and others. Warm up, make sure you have adult supervision and most importantly, have fun. First up, we have 10 shuttle runs. This is done exactly the same way as we've done it on badge two, except there are 10 this time. Remember to try and do all 10 shuttle runs from start to finish without stopping. Next, we have the splits. This could be front splits or side splits, also known as box splits. For your front and side splits, you want to make sure you keep the best posture you can in order to stretch the muscles correctly. Remember that you also have to keep practicing regularly in order to achieve these moves. Make use of the lines to help straighten up your posture and alignment in your splits. Next, we have half lever or straddled half lever. With the continued use of pike and japana stretching, core compression exercises and support exercises, this will make it easier to achieve these moves. Next, we have jump full turn. So you wanna start off with your arm swing into a nice big straight jump and you will complete a full 360 degree turn facing the way you started to finish. Next, we have moving toward handstand using apparatus. For this move, you want to start off with your hands on the floor and your feet on a box. Then you will walk your feet closer to the edge of the box, keeping your hands in the same place in order to stack the hands, shoulders and hips in the same line. Then you will lift the leg in order to reach the handstand position. Next we have change leg handstand. For this move, you want to start in your standing stretch position. Step forward into your lunge to get to handstand. Try your best to control the handstand to give yourself time to switch the legs and finish in the opposite lunge. Next, we have the handstand forward roll. Again, you want to start off in your standing stretch position. You'll step forward in lunge and kick to handstand. Try your best to show the handstand before you bend your arms and tuck your head in to safely descend into the forward roll. Next, we have matched and mirrored sequence to include roll, jump, and balance. For this move, this requires a bit of teamwork between you and your partner. You have to make sure you can both do the moves comfortably while also doing the moves at the same time. Next, we have throw hand apparatus, perform a leap, catch, and perform a balance. For this move, it's all about timing. You want to throw the ball, time your chosen leap right in order to catch the ball comfortably to go to your balance. And last, we have straddle on box top and straddle jump off. For this move, very similar to the previous badges where you'll use the bunny hop motion, but instead you'll do it in a straddle position. For your straddle jump, you want to make sure that it looks like you're sitting down in mid air. Be sure to jump high enough in order to do the shape and then bring the legs back down in preparation for the landing. I hope you guys found today's video helpful. There'll be more coming soon. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, share the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.